Austin, Temple, Texas, Overton, Texas, Stillwater, Oklahoma, Columbia, Missouri, Lincoln, Nebraska, Chicago, Brookings, South Dakota, Michigan. I don't know if you know about how Tom and I met each other, but we met each other back, I think it was in 1999 at UC Berkeley. We kept in contact with each other. And one year Tom brought along uh, this proposal to start working on switchgrass and to start doing evolutionary biology with that. I said, oh, that looks intriguing. Let me know if it gets funded. And if, about six or seven months later, Tom called me up and said, hey, it's funded. And so that's how th things got going. And I moved out to Texas and started digging up plants. It took a long time, another decade from there to get to the point where we're actually getting a good understanding of how these plants evolved. We just heard this fall uh, that we got a renewal of some grant funding that'll keep the project going for another five years. And part of that will be a you know, continuation of collecting data and information from these existing plantings and then trying to leverage that information to make some new crosses, uh, to drive you know, some new studies studying particular traits, uh, and then also, also to step to the next stage of really trying to look at some candidate genes that we've identified and how they might function, how they might impact different traits, and what the implications are for you know, plant adaptation. In the past, a lot of that work sort of foundational work in those systems would be using other model species to identify candidate genes. Um, I think now we're at a place where we have these great tools for genetic mapping and switchgrass alone that might help us point to interesting genes.